It's day 118 of the project and today's scent of the day is the latest flanker to the Azaro Wanted line. This is Azaro The Most Wanted and I'm really excited to tell you which one of my favourite fragrances this one reminds me of. And how it also compares to the previous Azaro Wanted releases including the much loved Wanted By Night. To find out my thoughts on this one, stay tuned to Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 118 of my Fragrance 365 project where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. Today's featured scent is called The Most Wanted by Azaro and it's the fifth release in the Wanted lineup following the original release back in 2016. Then came Wanted Freeride in 2017 which hardly ever gets spoken about and seems to go unnoticed. Uh, 2018 saw the much hyped and probably the best Wanted flanker to date which was called Wanted by Night. And finally in 2020, uh, Wanted Tonic hit the shelves and was roundly criticised and probably the most disappointing release in the lineup. So this 2021 release is described as a spicy amber fragrance with only three official notes listed but I suspect there's more which I'll talk about in uh, a few minutes. You can pick this up in a 50ml bottle size for £40 and a 100ml bottle size like this one is £60 from the Notino website. Yet yeah, I picked up this gift set which included a 100ml bottle, um, a deodorant roll on stick and also an extra 10ml sample bottle for the same price as a 100ml bottle on its own. So it's always worth shopping around uh, for gift sets wherever you can. You always just get a little freebie in there which is nice. Uh, the presentation on this one is very high quality and it comes in a stylish matte black box with uh, gold, gold and black accents. All the text and these flashes around the edge of the uh, the box there, they're all raised and it just feels really uh, like a premium quality finish. It features the famous uh, magazine from the revolver design on the uh, on the front and we've also got the name of the house. Around the sides of the box we've got um, another, the name of the fragrance there and at the bottom there's loads of information which includes the batch code uh, which is ABU71EP. There's also a nice little uh, statement that which reads, Life is a statement. Step into the light and enjoy the movement. It's your time to shine. Very nice and motivational. So yeah, that's the, that's the box. Really nice, uh, really decent quality. Yeah, so inside the box we have the bottle which comes in an all black colourway which in my opinion looks a little bit, little bit more mean and serious than the other versions. And again, uh, it comes in the shape of a re of Revolver's magazine. I don't know about you guys out there, but I think that the uh, bottle design looks pretty cool. Uh, we have branding on top of the cap, which is a, a small click-on style cap. Uh, and then we've got the the name of the house that runs twice uh, right round the bot right round the bottom edge there of the bottle. Underneath there's a, a sticker, and that just contains some more product information. Uh, and then the atomizer is really nice. I'll just waste a couple of sprays. It just gives a, a really uh, decent amount of juice and a nice satisfying blast of fine mist. So yes, really impressed with how this one this product's presented and. Uh, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. So I've looked everywhere and there's only three notes listed in this in all of the official marketing material, which are cardamom up top, in the heart of the fragrance there's toffee, and in the base there's amber wood. I would guess uh, that there's a few more notes in this one, but maybe brands are just simplifying things uh, just to maybe give the customer a better idea of what the standout notes are. And also maybe to protect themselves uh, by not making it easier for uh, clone houses to create one-to-one -one copies, uh, but who knows. The previous uh, releases have all included fruity notes like apple and mandarin orange uh, and also included ginger and vetiver and geranium. So I would guess that we've also got similar, no similar notes uh, included in this one. Mm -hmm. 
So this opens up fairly spicy, but with also a touch of fruitiness. I don't get any zesty citrus notes like bergamot or lemon or grapefruit, but there's definitely some slightly sweeter fruity notes included, maybe apple, mandarin orange or melon, something like that. It's also a bit too spicy in the opening uh, for there just to be one note of cardamom in here. I would guess that there's also some ginger or black pepper in the composition too. The opening 15 minutes of this fragrance I think is very similar to what you get in Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb Night Vision EDP. However, uh, once this one dries down, the spicy notes fade um, and the toffee becomes really prominent and dominates the heart of the fragrance uh, for, I would say, the majority of the life of the scent. The amber wood in the base provides a masculine intensity and gives the fragrance some power. There's a slight smokiness, uh, but it's the smooth, sweet toffee that's the star of the show in this. And I would probably say it shares a very, very strong similarity to this one here, Stronger With You Intensely, which is one of my favourite all-time fragrances. This is a slightly sweeter and more refined and mature version of the Wanted By Night flanker, and I'd say it's more versatile and easy to wear. Although I do really enjoy the Wanted By Night flanker, and I'd say that if you own that one, um, or any of the Stronger With You flankers, then you, this one there might not be enough difference in this. But if you don't own any of them, then I would say this one's a really great and solid pickup. This one is a perfect night out fragrance in the autumn and winter, but it's much more than that. It's um, I'd be happy to wear this all year round apart from in the high heat of summer. It's more mass appealing, I think, and easier to live with than the Wanted By Night Flanker, and it's also more refined and less playful than all the other releases. Uh, so I would say it'd work well in the uh, daytime as an office scent, just as long as you go easy on the sprayer, but I'll uh, touch on that in a minute or so. You could wear this dressed up or casually, and I think it's the only one in the line that I'd say is not uh, not just for younger guys. It is a really solid all-rounder, and if you are just getting into building a collection, I'd recommend this one as a starter fragrance and uh, one of your first purchases. Yeah, there's very few men's designer fragrances these days that can uh, genuinely be classed as beast mode, but this one is definitely getting there. The performance is excellent with a solid 10 hours of longevity and with a good projection for most part of those hours. It's one that you constantly get strong wafts from. I wore this yesterday and I applied it at about 10 o'clock in the morning uh, and I could constantly detect it for around about the three or four hours. And then uh, I, I, I basically just forgot about it and I went about my business and then uh, about six o'clock I drove home and I was just getting out of the car. It was a bit cold and uh, a little bit windy and it just got the most stunning sweet aroma. Uh, it just blew up and hit me and it was still going strong like nine hours into its life and it, it, it was just beautiful. Beautiful. So yeah, the performance on this, nothing to worry about there at all. Yeah, I'd say this is definitely my favourite from this line now, uh, but it's also one of the best, or if not the best, uh, new designer release of 2021 that I've tested and reviewed so far. I was due to buy another. I was due to buy another bottle of Stronger with you intensely because this one's almost run out of juice. Uh, but I'm not going to bother now because this is just such a great alternative. It does. Uh, it just does a little bit of everything. It's got a really nice spicy kick, um, a lovely, rich, warm sweetness, and a masculine woody backbone. It's a, a great fragrance, and for that reason, it gets a straight ten out of ten from me. Yeah, so once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. In the next episode, I'll be bringing you an exclusive first look at a brand new release from the house of Isimiyake. So don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified about future uploads. If you found the video useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It's also great to hear your, uh, your thoughts, your opinions, and your critiques on all of the fragrances that feature throughout the 365 project, so keep your comments coming down in the comments section. There's also now around about 150 videos on the channel, so plenty for you to go out when you need a quick fragrance review fix. So as always, thank you very much again for tuning into this episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, 
and I will see you very soon for another one. Bye-bye for now.